Hey folks, and how are you doing? It's great to see you all and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then a bit very big welcome to the channel. Now, a few of you, a couple of weeks ago, I did a tune for you called Reflections and a few of you asked to see how I put that together. So that's what we're going to do today. Before we get going though, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my patrons because without you guys, it wouldn't be so easy to do what I do. So we're going to check out Amplitude and how I managed to record Reflections coming right up. <laughs> Okay, so as usual, I am just using Amplitude, as you can hear, and I'm running that, as I showed you in the previous video, just through my Focusrite 2i2. I'm coming out of the headphones and into my Zoom R16 in stereo, and then I'm also capturing a little bit of audio on the Lewitt mic that's just over here, and I'm capturing my vocal audio directly into the ATEM recorder. So let's pop over here and have a look at Amplitude. So at the moment, I've just got the Brit 800 set up, but actually when I did this the other day, I needed to find acoustic instruments. So I went into instrument type, and I went into acoustic, and there are two. I think I used upright two. So let's click on that, which gives us a Galleon Kruger head. Now, I was just using my um, Harley Benton acoustic, and uh, there we go, all plugged in and nice. I've just got the, the tone settings completely in the middle and I am running my output from the Zoom R16 into my system, my sound system, so I can hear it. Okay, now one of the things that I did first was I added the standard reverb to the end of the signal chain behind the mixer. Okay, and I think I put some... That's beautiful. If you listen to that, I really like that. Incidentally, I will put all the chords for this in the description down below in case you want to follow along. As I know, the Game Dane did, and what a great job he did. If you haven't had chance, do go over, look up the Game Dane, and check out his version of the first bit of this tune, Reflections. So that's the first thing. Now, if we go back over here, we can go into the tracking. Now, this is absolutely great because we can put a uh, metronome on, and I think I had this about 110 beats per minute, and I just played the acoustic guitar in as follows. <laughs> Okay, so that was 
<laughs> the best I could do. And all I did then was I just took the markers for the start and finish and I looped that. So now what we get coming up to the end of the loop is we go back to the start. So there's the loop function. Uh, and let's see if we can get to here. And it so it loops and it loops around and around. And what you can do with this bit of software, which is absolutely great, is you can make multiple tracks. So of course, I then had a lead guitar part, which, which I'll plug in now. And what I did was I went to the audio channel two, just down here. And when you come out of here, you have to enable that channel. So let's enable that channel. And I just picked what we've been using all the time, which is the, um, oh, actually, let's go and find it over here. It's easier. British Tube Lead. And this has a lovely tone. Everything except for the reverb up full. And once again, I used the reverb from here. And this time I used the plate reverb. And if we go into the plate, what I did was I put a little bit of pre-delay on it and I increased the size up to about halfway and also the decay up to about halfway. Okay, so once you've armed that second track uh, by going into here, taking the record off of the first channel and adding it onto the second channel, you can then play this loop. And because I'm recording into the R16, that means that that loop will keep going and recording a track until I stop it. So all I did was just cycled through uh, a few times. So let's just have a bit of a noodle. One of the things I did as well was I used the woman tone that we looked at the other day. So I turned the tone knob right down and I used the neck pickup for this tone. idea of the tone I was using but then of course you can just play straight in and go to the the um, the loop and away you go with a little bit of a backing track in fact let's go back to the start
and then I just faded it out. So there you go, it was as simple as that. The only thing I actually recorded was this backing track here. And again, I think we can bring that down so you can see all of the 26 bars of it. And I didn't record any of the lead solo stuff onto uh, here because it was just going round in this loop with the audio too. So um, there you have it. That's the way I did that tune. It was really, really quick, really very, very easy and lovely to jam along to. So as I said before, I will put the chord progression for you guys in the description down below in case you want to maybe do a recording of this yourself. And um, yeah, again, Amplitube uh, 5, really, really enjoying this software and really finding the jamming element of it really, really very useful. As always, I'm really keen to hear what you guys think of what I'm doing here, whether you like the idea, whether you like the tune. I'm sure actually that most of you did because you were all so very, very kind with your comments. So please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to try this out, Amplitude 5 CS is absolutely free. I thoroughly recommend trying it out and particularly to give yourself a jam along track. It really, really works. So simple as that. Anyway, I'll be back with the very best content I can just as soon as I can. But as always, in the meantime, my good friends, you take really good care. <laughs>